question for Kyle. Uh, <laughs> You might not know this is not an everyday question, but here I had this thought today. You know how when you shoot a bullet out of a rifle barrel, you can look at that bullet like ballistically and see if it was shot at the same barrel. It leaves a little fingerprint the way that the twist works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then I had this idea like, oh, but when you shoot through a barrel, that barrel gets where? So hypothetically, I murder someone, right? And then I fire, like, make it an AK-47, something durable. I fire 2,000 rounds out that barrel. Can I, do I now have a rifle that almost proves I didn't kill the guy because it's a different fingerprint? No, no. Did, um, you'd be better okay. off just destroying the rifle. Um, that, that's what you want to do. You want to destroy the rifle. Because not only um, does the bullet leave that telltale thing that I don't think you could eliminate with a couple thousand rounds. And plus... Now we got to go get a case of ammo. Now we're making a lot of noise. People come around. Why are you shooting so much? Don't worry about it. This is the whole thing, right? Plus, when you stamp mm -hmm. that primer, when you fire the bullet, um, that's a unique um, indicator as well. The, the, the way that primer strikes the uh, or the firing pin strikes the primer. Those are one and a, those all match too. like the, this one. You can tell that that shell came out of this gun. So, and fifteen hundred rounds later, twenty five hundred rounds later, you think that that wouldn't change? I always hear ARs talked about ten thousand rounds of barrel life, and that's before you lose accuracy. That's not even talking about like smoothing the bore out and making it so that it doesn't have rifling in it at all anymore. And I think what you'd see is like maybe less defined marks, but the same marks. The same way if a lighter person wore the same pair of shoes. You know, it's mm. still the same indicator. It's just not imprinted as deeply, maybe. That's, mm. I don't know anything about ballistics at like a real deal level, though. I just know what bullets look like. Or maybe there's a better way to foul the barrel, like than shooting bullets, right? They hit it I with saw a movie once where they had, it was a pistol and he immediately took a, a rat tail file, which is a cylindrical file, and ran it down the barrel and rasped out the barrel real quick. And that, would probably do the trick if you were you know effective enough at it of course you could just melt the son of a bitch if you got an oxyacetylene that would yeah. be the way to go hmm. okay anyway i had that question today i learned Jot that I, down. Kyle I know nothing about guns so hey look at that you know, but you know a bit about murder hmm? uh you know not 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 offhand you know not a thing <laughs> Classic murderer response. <laughs> classic. <Yep. laughs> oh, classic well, you know, murderer response. Me murder never. Never. Oh my god. Never in a million years. Someone who like takes great offense at a joke about them killing someone. Like me never. How would I even do get away with that? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> what are you even? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was never proven. Yeah. What are you talking about? It would smell so bad after like one week, dude. It wouldn't even. <laughs> so, all right. So those are the weirdest to me. And you can almost understand how it gets that way. Um, but the people who kill someone. And then they're like, hey, what do I do now? Now there's a body in my house. Mm -hmm. Throw some newspaper on it, Big Daddy style. And, and that, like the like people who do that and the people, so many serial killers you hear about the smell. It, it, yeah. it ends up being the smell from the rotting corpses in their house, under their house, around their house. Yep. Oh my God. They get, they get caught because of like procrastination not even carelessness it's like i'll get yeah. rid of that rotting head tomorrow and then they You'd just don't for three weeks and you get <laughs> nose that. blind to stuff you know oh. you get nose blind to it they yeah, don't they don't notice the slow to rock, a all the nonsense yeah a lot of fucking corpses and it's not his first rodeo you don't yeah get i mean because after a while you're like one. you're used to that a scent, lot of right? times their mom 100%. has been upstairs in the bed for like a decade and so they are they're used to it so when they start bringing the ladies home and taking them apart Trying yeah. to fix mom piece by piece, they don't notice the smell. Is is there a scent called cadaverine? <laughs> like that's like what it's called. Cadaverine. That's a, that's a exactly. new perfume that Calvin Klein is releasing. Cadaverine. Cadaverine. Smell Cadaverine. Like shit. <laughs> smell terrible. <laughs> it's called corpse. By it's cadaver. Called... <laughs> <laughs> corpse. <laughs> the, the worst selling scented can. <laughs> well, they can sell them on anything. That what what's her face sells the pussy one. Um, Glue, Gwyneth man. Paltrow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. She sells yeah. a vagina candle. 